Welcome. Your journey begins now. All systems operational. Launch complete. Welcome citizens. In this video we'll be taking a look at the Mustang Beta. We'll be going over the stats of the ship, looking at its standard loadout and giving our thoughts on the ship's uses and possible upgrades. As with all things Star Citizen, keep in mind that specific details of the ship could and probably will change over time as the game's development progresses. The Mustang Beta from Consolidated Outlands is a single seat scout craft that uses the same hull as the Mustang Alpha variant. Unlike the Alpha variant, the Beta features a living compartment behind the pilot's seat complete with a bed, kitchen, toilet, and storage compartments. Being based on the same design as the Alpha variant means that it suffers from the same problems concerning transporting mission boxes. There doesn't seem to be a way of entering the ship while carrying a box, as a pilot must first enter the pilot seat to access the rear living compartment. With a standalone price tag of $48, it costs $8 more than the Mustang Alpha and it is only $12 under the price of the superior Avenger Titan. The Beta's twin engines can push the ship up to an optimal speed of 188 meters per second and maximum cruise speed of 1216 meters per second. By comparison, this is 56 meters per second faster than the Alpha and is on par with the Aurora MR. The Beta's yaw and pitch rates are marginally improved over those of the Alpha and it also comes with an increased quantum fuel tank of 700 units. The Beta comes fitted with two size 1 ink shield generators giving it a combined shield strength of 6840 hit points. This is a very weak starting shield but can be improved greatly. Its other major components consist of two size 1 hydrocell coolers, a size 1 rush quantum drive and a size 1 roughneck power plant. Unfortunately, due to the Beta having a living compartment in the rear of the ship, it doesn't have any cargo capacity. As standard, the Mustang Beta comes equipped with two size 2 M4A laser cannons fitted onto the nose-mounted turret. While these do have the added benefit of being able to use the gimbal assist feature, this weapons package is fairly weak and most pilots will look to upgrade them as soon as they can. Thankfully, the Beta also has two additional size 1 weapon hardpoints under the wings to fit some additional weapons and two size 3 rocket pod hardpoints. The rocket pods aren't currently available to purchase in game however. Fitting a pair of size 1 attrition repeaters to the empty wing hardpoints and changing the nose mounted M4A laser cannons to a pair of size 2 attritions will give the Beta a sizeable increase in damage output. Alternatively, you could go with two size 1 GT210 yellow jackets and two size 2 GT215 scorpions if you prefer a full ballistic setup. Being a scout vessel, the energy based setup might make more sense as you won't need to worry about running out of ammo while out in the field. However, the ballistic setup will reduce your EM signature, making the ship harder to detect and increase an enemy's missile lock on with certain missiles. For shields, fitting a pair of size 1 web shield generators will give a small boost in shield strength and keep your EM signature low. But if you're not bothered about keeping your signature low, fitting a pair of guardian generators will boost your shields to more than 15,000 hit points. Lastly, changing out the ship's standard rush quantum drive for a Foxfire unit will decrease quantum travel times and increase fuel efficiency. With a few upgrades like these, the Mustang Beta can fit its design purpose and become a fairly capable scout ship. For a new player in the verse that isn't interested in moving cargo, the Beta is a direct upgrade to the Alpha with its faster speed, living quarters and bigger quantum fuel tank. But if you want the option of carrying mission boxes, you might be better going for the cheaper Aurora LN instead. Ok so we hope this review has been helpful or informative. If you like the vid, click that like button and subscribe for more Star Citizen videos. Also, feel free to tell us your thoughts on this ship in the comments section below. Bye for now.